What's up, everybody? Welcome to Extra Turns. If you've been paying attention to the podcast these past few weeks, you've seen that we've been doing budget upgrade videos for all of the Adventure and the Forgotten Realms pre-cons. And today, the players are going to take those decks and battle out and see who did the best. Now, if you want to get your hands on these Commander pre-cons or any of the cards from the main Forgotten Realms set, or pretty soon, either now or very soon in the future, you will be able to pre-order the Innistrad Midnight Hunt stuff. Yeah. Cardkingdom.com slash command zone is the place to go if you're going to order magic product, singles, anything at all. They get you your cards the fastest and in the best condition. And come on. Let's be honest here. You are going to order magic cards anyway. You want to upgrade your decks, just like we upgraded these pre-cons, or you want to order the decks in the first place so that you can then upgrade them. Whatever it is, you're going to buy magic cards. You may as well just use cardkingdom.com slash command zone as you're doing that, because then you just get to support the content you enjoy as added gravy value thrown in. And another way to support the content is directly at patreon.com slash command zone. We love our patrons so much, in fact, that we give them exclusive early access to episodes of Game Nights and Extra Turns. So they've already seen this episode. They know what happens. And they get tons of other perks like a Discord channel where we get to talk to everyone and answer questions. So if you want to support the show directly, just head on over to patreon.com slash command zone for as little as a dollar a month. You get access to all of these awesome perks. Speaking of knowing what happens, Jimmy... Neither you or I are players in the game that we're, is about Good to occur point. here. So we have a unique opportunity to um, see if we can predict who the winner is. So you've seen the budget upgrade mm-hmm. guides. Who do you think is going to take down the game? Uh, I clearly think it's got to be my old friend, Craig Blanchett. He's got the goods, he's got the skill, and he's going to take the whole thing down. And I know he's it. probably got the infect. He's definitely got the infect. <laughs> uh, okay, that's a good That's a good one, because Craig can definitely infect some people up. Mm-hmm. I, I, I think I'm going to go with Lady Danger. I Ooh, watched her okay. upgrade video, and I thought she had some some good calls in there. So Ooh, uh, I, nice. I think ladies do here. She's going to take it down. What's well, either of them or DJ or Jake, and the only way... It's going to be one player in the game. (laughs) (laughs) It's got to be. You want to find out who wins, so do we. Let's get on with the episode. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Extra Turns. Today we're going to be playing the upgraded pre-cons from Adventures in the Forgotten Realms. You might have seen us do this before. We've swapped out 10 cards with a budget of just $30 to bring these decks to the next level. So the deck I upgraded is Draconic Rage, and the commander I chose is Vrondus Rage of Action! My strategy is all about dragons and the enrage mechanic. Because of my commander's ability, I'm able to create 5-4 dragon spirits whenever I roll a die or Verandas takes damage. Plus, I added in a few pieces to cheat out some of my other big scary dragons in the deck. So I'll swoop in with my draconic army and become the mother of dragons. I upgraded Dungeons of Death and my commander is Sephiroth of the Hidden Ways. This is a dungeon deck. Every time a creature gets put into my graveyard, I venture deeper and deeper. So my deck is chock full of cards that help me race through the dungeons even faster. And hopefully if I venture deep enough, I'll gather enough loot to outvalue my opponents. The deck I souped up is Aura of Courage and the commander I went with is Galea Kindler of Hope. My strategy is all about auras and equipment, which because of Galea's ability, I can cast from the top of my library and get around expensive equip costs at the same time. So my goal is to get out some creatures with evasion, or possibly infect, gear them up, and swing in for the win. So the deck I'm playing today is Planner Portal, and my commander is Prosper Tomebound. So I'm gonna be playing cards from Exile, which triggers my commander's ability, and make a whole horde of treasure. And don't worry, I upgraded my deck with plenty of cheap cards that keep that engine going strong. And then I'll use this mystical, forbidden arcane knowledge to open a portal straight to Value Town. All right, let's battle. Let's rock and roll. Okay, let's do this. All right, it's sorty fighty time. So is everybody ready? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's go. All right. All right, I will draw for turn. Let's play a forest and pass the turn to you, Craig. I will draw for turn. I'm going to play a floodplain tapped, and I will pass the turn. All right. I will draw for turn, Swamp, Soul Ring, and pass. Nice. I will draw, I'll play a Foreboding Ruins. I'm gonna reveal a mountain, and I'll pass. All right, Uh, I will draw for turn, and then I will play a mountain, and I'll pass the turn. All right, I will untap, draw for turn, play Command Tower, and I'm gonna crack my Floodplain. 
I'm gonna go get a basic planes and it's gonna come in untapped, baby. Nice. Yeah. And then I'm gonna tap two and I'm gonna play fertile ground on my command tower. I will pass turn to you, DJ. Okay, untap, upkeep, draw. I'm gonna play a Demir Aqueduct tapped and I'm forced to return this swamp to my hand. And that's it, I'll pass the turn. All right, I'll draw for turn. I'll play a mountain, tap two, and cast Talisman of Indulgence, then I'll pass. All right, I will draw for turn, and then I will play Forest, and then I will play a Commander Sphere, and pass the turn. All right, I will untap, draw for turn, I am going to tap my planes to play a Basilisk Collar. Oh! That's pretty good. And then I am going to play my land for turn. It's going to be a Simic Growth Chamber, which is going to return my planes back to my hand. And then I'm going to play a Wild Growth on my Fertile Ground Command Tower. <laughs> So You're now just it'll, it'll, for it. <laughs> it'll tap for three. I know, right? <laughs> Big target land. All right, and I pass turn. Okay, untap, upkeep, draw. I'm gonna play a thriving isle tapped. I'm gonna name white with it. And then I'm gonna tap four to play a clay goal. Ooh. I'm all done. I'll pass the turn to you, Jake. Okay, I'll untap and draw. I'm gonna play a swamp and then tap four and cast my commander, Prosper Tomebound. Nice. nice. And I can't do anything else, so I'll go to my end step. Prosper will trigger. I'll exile the top card of my library. And it is a mountain and I can play it until the end of my next turn. Oh, okay. And then I'll pass. I will untap, draw for turn. I will play a, a land for turn. And then I'm gonna go ahead and play my commander. Nice. Brondus Rage of Ancients. <laughs> Little pass turn. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna untap, draw for turn, play a land for turn. Uh, I'm gonna play a Sun Titan. Oh, that's, that's good. Gonna bring back my floodplain, and I will pass turn. Aww, that's awesome. That's untap, great. upkeep, draw. I'll play a swamp, and then I'm gonna have a black floating, and I'll play a champion of wits. I'm nice. gonna draw two and discard two, and I will discard struck brain and meteor golem. Ooh. Because I already have a golem. And then I'm going to play Wayfarer's Bobble with the one I have remaining. Solid. And then I'm gonna pay a white and a black for a wall of omens and draw a card. Value town, baby. I'll pass the turn to you, Jake. Okay, I will untap and draw for turn. I'm gonna start off by doing something cool. I'm going to play my land for turn. Sick. But the cool, reason it's cool, so cool, because that triggers my commander. Whenever I play a card from exile, I get a treasure token. Sweet. So there's a treasure. So now I've got six mana, so I'm gonna tap Five mana. Okay, all right, things are happening. I'm gonna cast Harnfell, Horn of Bounty. Sick. So I can discard a card to exile the top two cards of my library and I can play them this turn. That's great with your commander. I'm gonna go to my end step and that'll trigger my commander. I will exile Zalfiren Void and I can play that until my next turn. Wonderful. All right, Um, right, I'm gonna leave out my blocker and pass the turn. Okay, so I'm gonna untap and draw for my turn. I'll play Force and then I'm gonna pay six and play Lurking Predator. Hey! Whoa! Uh, and I'd like to keep up my blocker, um, so I will pass the turn to you, Krieg, oh, you. son of Crick. That's right. I untap. I'm gonna draw for turn. All right, I'm gonna sacrifice my floodplain. And this time I'm gonna go get a basic island and that's gonna come onto the battlefield untapped. Cool. Uh, okay, I'm going to first cast a Windborn Muse. And since you cast a spell, I get a trigger in Lurking Predators. All right, let's see it. Nothing. <laughs> so the disappointment begins. <laughs> All right, and then I'm going to equip my Basilisk Collar to my Sun Titan. And then, lady, mm -hmm. I'm gonna preemptively get ahead of this lurking predators. So I'm gonna swing at you for six lifelink death touch. Sun Titan's gonna trigger, so I'll bring back my floodplain. I will take six and go to 34. All right, I'm gonna gain six, bringing me up to 46. And I pass turn. Awesome. Untap, upkeep, draw. I'm gonna play a Gyre Reach Sanitarium. Fun. Nice, make us all draw cards. Maybe later. For now, I'm gonna tap all of my mana to cast little old Shildred Whispering. Oh, whoa. whoa. Okay, um, that's something, isn't Since it? you did cast that, I get a Lurking Predator trigger. Oh no. Anything else? It is not good to attack anyone here, so I'm gonna pass the turn. All right, I'm gonna untap and draw. Uh, on upkeep, I have to sacrifice something, so I'm gonna sacrifice my commander and put it back in the command zone. <laughs> so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to play this land from exile. Unfortunately, my commander is not around, so it won't trigger. 
But it hasn't entered the battlefield. I'll scry one, and I'm going to leave that on top. Ooh, mm -hmm. spicy. Okay. And then I'm going to tap two and play a Felwar stone. Nice. And Good then up. I'll tap five and crack a treasure for a black to cast Hex. Destroy six target creatures. Oh, my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Why don't we count them up? Let's see. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven creatures. So, so I get my wall of omens. I think I'm going to let yeah, your wall of omens <laughs> live and destroy all of the other creatures. Fair enough. You cast a spell, so I get a lurking predator's trigger. Like Nothing. <laughs> wow, that was a blowout. Okay, well, that's all I can do. That's all. The board is clear. Great job. I'll pass the turn. Thanks, Jake. Thanks for taking one for the team. I'm going to untap here. Draw for turn. Um, all right, I'm going to play Vengeful Ancestor. Yeah. Interesting. So you can hit that wall of omens. You can my wall. Um, I'm going to goad it. <laughs> it's a real angry wall. <laughs> it's furious at everyone but you. And then I will play Sword of Hours. That's dope. It's pretty cool. So you're going to be rolling dice and making your creatures bigger? You're yep, going to see me rolling. <laughs> Those D10. All right. I'm going to untap. Uh, draw for turn. Okie dokie. I'm going to play a Blighted Agent. Egg. Yeah, buddy. Right. <laughs> We're there. Since you cast Blighted Agent, I get a Lurking Predator's trigger. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Hey, hey. let's go. Sweet. You're very enthusiastic about a two drop off of that. I am. <laughs> Play a Helvar. Oh, that's good. That's going to trigger Lurking Predators again. And let's. That All is right. not. No hits. No hits. So that's going to go right to the bottom. All right. So I'm going to crack my floodplain again and get another basic island. Holy moly. That's right. That's what we call value town. <laughs> All right, and then I am going to equip my blighted agent with a basilisk collar. Hmm. All right, and I passed turn. Okay, I'm gonna untap, upkeep, and draw. I'm going to play a radiant solar. It's a little angel, but when it enters the battlefield or when another creature enters the battlefield, I get to venture into a dungeon. How exciting. I can finally travel into dungeons. There you go. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna pick Dungeon of the Mad Mage. Mm. I'm gonna start off by gaining a life. That spell's gonna trigger lurking predators. And that's nothing. Uh, and then I'm gonna play a Terramorphic Expanse and I'll pass the turn. All right, I will untap and then draw for turn. So I'm gonna start off by playing a Bajuka Bog targeting DJ. Woohoo! Ouch. Spicy! Wow. My graveyard! I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry, DJ, I had to do it. You're the best target and I needed a land drop. Remember who did this to you. <laughs> <laughs> Turning cards sideways never felt so bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then I'm going to tap six and recast my commander. Prosper. Sweet. Prosper's going to trigger lurking predators. Let's go. Hey! It's a creature. It? It's right. Demanding Dragon. Oh, woof. That's not good. Uh, when Demanding Dragon enters the battlefield, it deals five damage to target opponent unless that player sacrifices a creature. All right, Craig, I'm going to direct this five damage to your face. Me? Only because you're at 46, so I'm just trying to even the play. He can sacrifice a creature. It's not just yeah, five damage. No, I, yeah, Craig, why don't you do please. that? I'll take five. All right, I'll just be at 41. See? There you are. You're okay. No big deal. And then I will go to my end step, exile the top card of my library. It's a bag of devouring. Ooh. So I can play that until my next turn. Nice. So I will pass the turn. Alrighty. I will untap and then draw for turn here. And then I'll replay my commander. Oh! Sweet. And it's one less because of my Marauding Raptor. So it's only gonna cost me six. And when it enters the battlefield, uh, my Marauding Raptor deals two damage to it, which triggers the Enrage mechanic on Verandus. So I get a five, four red <laughs> green dragon spirit token. But he's not flying. I'm gonna go to combat. All right. Okay, Jake, I'm going to attack you with my Vengeful Ancestor. And Craig, I'm going to attack you with my demanding dragon. Okay. That's going to trigger my vengeful ancestor. And so I'm going to goad Craig's blighted agent. Uh, no blockers. And I don't have blockers either. So we just take the damage. Let's go. All right. I'll take five. Put me down to 36. And then I'll take three going to 37. And yeah. then uh, I'll pass the turn to you, Craig. All right. I'm going to untap. Draw for turn. Hmm. So I'm going to cast Trigon Predator. You better not come at me with that. That's going to trigger my lurking predators. Go for it. Nope. That's an enchantment. Goes to the bottom. I'm going to cast Swiftfoot Boots. Nice. That's going to trigger lurking predators. Go Swiftfoot Girls. Yeah, we got a Druid of Purification. All right. So Marauding Raptor is going to deal two damage to my Druid of Purification. 
but it's got three toughness, so it doesn't matter. When Druid of Purification enters the battlefield, starting with you, each player may choose an artifact or enchantment you don't control. Destroy each permanent chosen this way. Oh God, okay. So you start first. Yeah, I'm gonna choose the Basilisk Caller. Okay, so I guess Craig gets to kind of decide if he chooses his own Basilisk Caller. I think that that kind of proves that he is gonna be like, we're just gonna suck it up and so do one thing. So you can either be the sacrificial lamb and everybody's gonna yeah. target your Basilisk? No, that's yeah. not me. Okay. No, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna choose the Soul Ring. You're choosing my Soul Ring over the horn? You get to choose now. So now you can choose the horn. No, I'm gonna choose one of your enchantments that give you mana. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'll hit the wild growth. Uh, Get the other enchantment that gives him mana. Okay, then I guess I'll hit the fertile ground. What? Craig was the one that had the choice to be able to say, look, we're just gonna suck it up and do the basilisk collar. But he that decided to be aggressive. That and so <laughs> he gets three for one. <laughs> all right, so all this stuff dies. And then swift foot boots will resolve. Okay, so I've got one mana floating and I'm gonna swing my swift foot boots onto my trigon predator. Then I am going to declare attacks mm -hmm. and I'm going to swing at Lady for two double strike. Mm -hmm. And Blighted Agent is going to come towards Jake. That's going to trigger Vengeful Ancestor because Blighted Agent is goaded and you will take one damage. Okay. But it has infect. What? Yeah. I think you're infecting yourself right now. I'm all for it, bro. Send me to Phyrexia, baby. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. I think you had this one coming. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. He had it coming. And then I'm not gonna block. I'm gonna take the one infect. And I guess I'll just take the four crank. All right, and on the Trigon Predator hitting, the first one I'm gonna destroy the Lurking Predators, and the second I'm gonna destroy the Sword of Hours. Wow. Wow. Okay, I'm also going to swing my Swift Foot Boots over onto Halvar, God of Battle. Uh, and then I will pass the turn. At the end of your turn, I'm gonna crack my Terramorphic Expanse. I'll search my library for a planes, and that'll come onto the battlefield tapped. Okay. Untap, upkeep, draw. I'm gonna tap three mana and cast my commander. Mm. Sephiroth of the Hidden Ways. And because I played a creature card, I get to venture into the dungeon because of my Radiant Solar. I'm gonna go to the next level and scry. So it's a simple little effect. Bottom. Not, Seems no good. harmless to me. No good. <laughs> then I'm going to play a planes. I'll pass the turn. Okay. I will untap and draw for turn. I'm going to float a black and play a Rakdos Carnarium tapped, returning the Bajuka Bog to my hand. Spicy! <laughs> so I'm going to tap three and play Theater of Horrors. No. Oh. Then I'm going to use the black floating from earlier to cast Bag of Devouring. Mm. It's gonna trigger my commander. Because I cast a card from exile, I'm gonna get a treasure token. Money. Cha-ching. Cha-ching. So I'm gonna tap my last four lands and I'm gonna cast Disrupt Decorum. Nice. So go to all creatures I don't control. Sweet. Craig's like, I was attacking anyways. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and that's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hold up Prosper as a blocker. So I'll go to my end step. He's gonna trigger exiling a mountain. So I can play that until the end of my next turn. Cool, and that's it for me, I'll pass. All right, I'm gonna untap, draw my card for turn. I'm gonna play a forest, and then I'm gonna play Wild Endeavor. I'm gonna roll two d4s. So you're dangerous. All right, ones. One and one. One and one. Oh, that's <laughs> rough. <laughs> um, so I'll get one, three, three green beast, and I'll get one land. So I'm gonna get a mountain onto the battlefield tapped, and a three, three green beast. That's gonna trigger Verandas because I rolled one or more die. So I'm gonna get a dragon spirit. And since they all entered the battlefield, Marauding Raptor will deal two damage to each of them, but they are both going to survive. Okay. And now I move to combat, and everything must attack. Craig, let's talk. Okay. So if I attack out on DJ, because he's got the highest life total, right? You're gonna give me a little pass situation? Yeah. I'll give you two turns, I won't affect your board. Two what turns on earth? of Craig, nothing happening? look at her board. You're gonna give her two turns of nothing happening? Yeah. All right, let's go. Earthing at DJ. And when Vengeful Ancestor attacks, well, I'm gonna go to your creature, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go. To, I that understand made the decision real easy. <laughs> Vengeful Ancestor is going to trigger when all of my goaded creatures attack. And that's going to be six of them, so I'm going to take six damage. Going to 24. All right, DJ, any blocks? So I will block your commander with my Radiant Solar, and I will block your Marauding Raptor with a Wall of Omens, and your Druidy dude with my commander. Okie dokie. So none of my creatures die, and I'm going to end up taking 13 damage and go to 28. Radiant Solar has lifelink, so I'll gain three up to 31. 
since he already had damage marked on him, my commander's going to die. And I'll send him right back to the command zone. And when my dragon spirit deals damage, it's gonna trigger, so I have to sacrifice. And then I'll pass turn to Craig. All right, bum bum bum. I will untap, I'll draw for turn. Okay, so I'm gonna cast my commander. Cool. And then I'm going to look at the top card of my library because Galea lets me do that. That's cool. Yeah, I'm gonna brainstorm. I'm gonna draw three and put two back on the top like this. Brainstorm all the way. I'm gonna play a land for the turn and I'm gonna play Kenrith's Transformation on Radiant Solar. Wow. <laughs> Uh, this is quite unacceptable. I'm gonna draw a card from Kenrith's transformation. Good for you. All right, now I'm going to declare attacks. I'm going to swing my Swiftfoot boots over to Blighted Agent because of Halvar's ability. And I am going to attack DJ with all three of my creatures. That's gonna trigger my Vengeful Ancestor and each one will deal one damage to you. Okay. Oh, that means I take another Infect? All right, whatever. <laughs> We're getting there. I'm gonna double block your Halvar. All right, so Halvar will die. I'm gonna order the damage so your commander dies. I'm gonna put it back in the command zone. Cool. And I'll take two regular damage and two infect damage. Sweet. All right, and on the Trigon Predator damage, I'm going to attempt to go for your bobble. In response, I'm gonna crack the Wayfarer's bobble. I'm gonna go get a basic island and put it onto the battlefield tapped. All right, so the Trigon Predator's ability is gonna fizzle. And then I pass turn. Okay, untap, upkeep, draw. Okay, I'm gonna pay four for a Midnight Path Lighter. Wow, solid, mm. that's okay. Even though Radiant Solar is an elk now, this elk is still angry and must attack. <laughs> uh, so, lady, I'm gonna attack you with a 3-3 goaded elk. Okie dokie. That will trigger Vengeful Ancestor and you'll take one damage. Done. And I'll take three. Going to 21. It dealt some damage to you, so I'm gonna venture deeper into the dungeon. I'm gonna create a treasure. Next, I'm gonna play a Priest of Fell Rites. Mm. That's pretty good. And then I will pass the turn to you, Jake. All right, I'm going to untap. On my upkeep, Theater of Horrors will trigger, so I will exile the top card of my library. It's a Spine Rock Knoll, and then I will draw for turn. So I'm gonna start off by playing a Mountain from Exile. That'll get me another treasure, and then I will go to combat, and Prosper is goaded as well. Yes! So I'm gonna swing Prosper at DJ for one. Okay. But because of Vengeful Ancestor, it, Prosper's gonna deal one damage to me. So I'll go to 36. And no blocks, I'll take one, down to 27. One commander damage. One commander damage. <laughs> <laughs> I have high hopes for my turns. <laughs> okay. Right. And then I'm gonna tap seven oh? and cast Dream Pillager. Oh, that's a good one. Seems good. And then I'm gonna crack two of the treasures for two reds and tap two lands. And I'm gonna play Tectonic Giant. Hmm. And that's all I can do. So I'm gonna go to my end step, Prosper will trigger. I exile the top card of my library. It's a mountain. I can play that until the end of my next turn. And then I'll pass to you, lady. All right, I'm going to move to my untap, draw for turn. I will play a land for turn. And then I'm gonna play Opportunistic Dragon. Uh-oh. Uh, I'm gonna target Midnight Pathlighter. You got it. Thank you. And then I'm going to move to combat and I'm going to attack you, DJ, with the dragon spirit, the demanding dragon. And Jake, I'm going to attack you with the 3-3 three, three beast. Yeah, I will not block. Okay, um, I'm gonna block with the tectonic giant. Okay, that's fine. All right, so your beast will die. And I will take 10. Down to 17. And because my dragon spirit dealt combat damage, it will trigger and I'm gonna have to sacrifice it. And then I'll pass the turn. All right, I will untap and I will draw. All right, I'm gonna look at the top card of my library. Oh. <laughs> Watch out. All right, I'm gonna play a Lumbering Falls tapped and then I'm gonna swing at Jake for one infect. All right, well that's unblockable, so I'm gonna take it. I will pass turn to you, DJ. Okay, untap, upkeep, draw. I don't have enough things to do or ways to leverage anything. I think I just have to try to pass and survive. Yikes, okay, well I'm gonna untap and on my upkeep, Theater of Horrors is gonna trigger Apex of Power. So that's gonna get tucked underneath Theater of Horrors and now I can cast it if an opponent is dealt damage. And then I will draw for turn. So I'm gonna start off by playing the mountain from Exile and I will get a treasure token from my commander. Sweet. And then I'm gonna discard Exotic Orchard to Harnfell, Horn of Bounty and exile the top two cards of my library. I can play those cards this turn. It's a swamp and Vance's Blasting Cannons. Hmm. So those go into exile. And I'm gonna do it once more. I'm gonna discard an Is It Chemister Mortuary Mire and 
Stormkiln Artist. So I can also cast those this turn. Cool. So I'm gonna tap four and cast the Stormkiln Artist from Exile. That'll trigger my commander. I'll get another treasure. And Stormkiln Artist is an eight two because I have six <laughs> artifacts. Wow. Woo! That's pretty good. Okay, so I'm not gonna attack anyone. I'm just gonna go to my end step. I can't play these cards this turn, so I'll just stay in exile. But Prosper's gonna trigger, and I've got a mountain that I can play. My <laughs> goodness. Until my next turn. Every time. Every time. Hi, I'm Grave Titan. My zombies don't know nothing about investments. That's why. Oh, okay. Wait, hold on, Jordan. It's just a little too silly, I think. Can't we talk about Titan investments without the talking card? But the sponsor is called Titan, and there are cards also called Titan. Like, there's Frost Titan, there's Primeval Titan, there's- Yeah, that is true, but I think personal investing, it's just too important of a topic. Everyone should be putting money aside long term, but it's hard to know how to do that in a smart way. Titan makes personal investment easy and accessible to all income levels. Their mobile app lets you see exactly what's going on with your money while it's being managed by Titan's expert analysts. You get to choose which investment strategy to go with, like US, international, even crypto assets. But then you can sit back and let the professionals deal with the details. Plus, Titan has consistently outperformed all major indexes and robo-investors, so you know your money's in good hands. And with no fees on gains, a low flat rate advisory fee, and record-shattering returns, you can start investing with as little as $100 and get your money working for your future. See? That's all we need to say. Or, I primeval titan, I hide all my money in trees. No, 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 no cards. Huh. Get started today at titan.com slash extra and get your first three months of expert investment management for zero fees. That's titan.com slash extra for three months free. Again, titan.com slash extra. What's up, gang? It's your boy, Inspiring Bard, AKA DJ Inspiry Beezy. <laughs> Coming to you live from flooded Strandapalooza. I just dropped a sick new track across all my socials, so go check it out. And when you do, make sure to use Raycon wireless earbuds for a top tier audio experience that'll keep you looking fly. When I'm fine tuning a fresh new beat, I only trust Raycon. With Raycon, you get the same sound quality as other premium audio brands starting at half the price. That value is hot fire, and trust me, I know. Whoa, Dragon Dude, burning the DJ is a major party foul. Plus, my water-resistant Raycons have comfortable gel tips, so they never harsh my vibe when I'm grooving on the move. And with a 32-hour battery life, my Raycons always last as long as the party does. So twerp me on Magebook, slurp me on Snapkeep, or float me on Sound Nimbus to find all my bardic beats. DJ Inspiring BZ out! <laughs> Create your own soundtrack with Raycon. Right now, fans of Extra Turns can get 15% off their Raycon order at buyraycon.com slash extra. That's buyraycon.com slash extra to save 15% on Raycons. Again, buyraycon.com slash extra. Don't mind me, I'm just some regular Joe Schmo, not a powerful wizard at all. Ha! I fooled you! I am a wizard! The magnificent Morden Kynan, in fact. That was an example of an illusion. You see, any arcanist knows having control over your appearance is important, so it can be frustrating when hair loss robs you of that control. Luckily, there's Keeps, the simple stress-free way to fight hair loss and keep your hair. Personally, I enjoy being bald. It makes me appear smart and magical and powerful, which I am, but if you don't want to be bald, Keeps is a convenient low-cost option. Plans start at only $10 a month, and you can set up a virtual consultation with your doctor online and have your medication delivered straight to your door, as if by magic. But with hair loss, prevention is key. Keeps can help save the hair you have, but once it's gone, even my spells cannot bring it back. Of course, my spell, Morden Kynan's Glorious Pompadour, can certainly make a stylish illusion. Ah, I am so good. If you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss, go to keeps.com slash extra to get your first month of treatment for free. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash extra to get your first month free. Again, that's keeps.com slash extra. Okay, that's all I'm going to do. Your turn. On your end step, I'm going to play Return of the Wild Speaker, Ooh, and okay. I'm going to draw a card equal to the greatest power among non-human creatures that I control, which would be five from my Demanding Dragon. Sweet. That's pretty good. Five cards. <laughs> okay, so I'll move to my untap, upkeep, draw, play my land for turn. I'm going to pay one and play Soul Ring. Pretty good. And then I'll tap for two and a forest and play Garruk's Uprising. Um, I control a creature with power four or greater, so I can draw a card. And then I will play Rishkar's Expertise. Wow, nice. Oh my you lord. You didn't draw enough cards already? I draw another five cards. Oh my lord. That's so many. Yeah. Three, 
four. This is not good. Five. Um, so I will play a Chaos Dragon for my Rishkar's expertise. And That's a big dragon. I draw a card from Garruk's Uprising. Oh my lord. And then I will pay one and play Barbarian class. So you have advantage. So I have advantage. That's cool. All right. So then I'll move to combat. Chaos Dragon's going to trigger. So we all roll a d20. Cool. But because of my Barbarian class, I get to roll two and choose one of them. Sick. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. One. 15. Two. I got a 13. I got a seven and a nine. Ooh, so Craig wins. Can't attack me, baby. Okie dokie. With Chaos Dragon, you can attack him with all the other dragons if you want. All right. <laughs> all right, Jake, I'm gonna swing my Chaos Dragon and Demanding Dragon at you, and then I will swing my Opportunistic Dragon at you, Craig. Okay, I'll take it. And then I'm not gonna block either, and I'm gonna take nine. Excellent. Yeah, buddy. Going to 27. I will go to my discard, and I will get rid of Crucible of the Spirit Dragon and a Forest. So seven cards in hand. Full grip. Pretty good. Right. Yep. And then I will pass a turn to you, Krieg. All right. I will untap, and I will draw for turn. Okay. I'm going to look at the top card of my library, because my commander allows me to do that. It's atrocious. Uh, I'm going to play a Canopy Vista. I'm going to declare attacks. Jake. Oh, whoop. What did I do to you? I'm, gonna, I'm trying to recruit Already you to Already have a couple you, infected. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I got to take it. I'm going to go to three infect. And then, what's the scariest thing, TJ? Lady danger. Yeah, but thing. What's the scariest oh, right. thing? Okay. <laughs> Lady danger. <laughs> The problem is that Jake is also really scared. Yeah, like, yeah. Cause like, if I help you get through on Jake, will you not attack me for one turn? For one turn. One turn. Deal. Uh, from one cool. Brexian <laughs> to another. Excellent. All right. I'm going to play Imprisoned on the Moon on Jake's Commander. All right, Prosper is imprisoned. All right, and that's it, I pass turn. Well, I was convinced that I was gonna be attacked this round. I'm glad that I wasn't, <laughs> <laughs> but it just shows how pathetic my board is. <laughs> I'm gonna flash in this Phantom Steed, and when it comes into play, I get to exile another card from the battlefield until it leaves. Uh, I'm actually gonna exile this Radiant Solar. And if it dies, I get my Radiant Solar back. If I attack, I get an extra Radiant Solar, but uh, attacking seems risky. It does. Okay, untap, upkeep, draw. Uh, I'm gonna cast my commander from the command zone. Gotta pay, yeah. gotta pay five for it now. I feel that pain. Your plan is in motion though. Uh, that seems to be it. I'll pass the turn to you, Jake. Okay, on your end step, I will cast Commune with Lava, where X is equal to four. Ooh. That's gonna trigger Storm Kill an Artist, so I'm gonna get another treasure. Cool. Cha-ching. Money in the bank. Then I'm gonna exile the top four cards of my library. It's a mountain, a swamp, light up the stage, and a mountain. Okay, okay. that's fine. Everything's okay. So let's go, I'll go over here. And then I will untap. Upkeep Theater of Horrors is gonna trigger, so I will put this unstable obelisk from the top of my library underneath it. Then I will draw for turn. Uh, so I'm gonna start off by tapping two. I'm gonna cast Dire Fleet Daredevil. Oh. When it enters the battlefield, I'm gonna exile the Return of the Wild Speaker from Lady Danger's Graveyard. I like your style. So now I can cast that and spend mana so over it. Mana, mana color. So I'm gonna tap five mana to do that and cast Return of the Wild Speaker. Uh, we're in trouble. And I'm gonna make a treasure from casting that instant. I've got eight artifacts on the battlefield, so Storm Kill an Artist is a 10 2. So I'm gonna draw 10 cards. Yikes! Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. This is bad. So I'm gonna play a mountain from exile. Unfortunately, Prosper is not on the battlefield anymore, uh, so I'm not gonna get the treasure. It kind of is. But it's kind of on the moon. <laughs> So thanks a lot there, Craig. All right, so I'm gonna tap three and cast Jessica's Will. Oh, How many cards in hand does everybody have? Seven. Two. One. All right, so I'm gonna add seven red mana because I'm choosing Lady. And then I'm gonna exile the top three cards of my library. I may play them this turn. Shiny Impetus, a Swamp, and a Rakdos Charm. So I'm gonna use four of the red mana and two black, and I'm gonna cast Pontiff of Blight. Nice. Ooh. So it has Extort, and other creatures I control have Extort. So I'm gonna use one of the red and a treasure and I'm gonna cast the Rakdos charm and the mode I'm gonna choose is each creature deals one damage to its controller. You get another infect? I get another infect. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Storm Killing Artist is gonna trigger off that so I'm gonna get another treasure. Oh yeah and the Jessica's Will also got me a treasure so I'm actually at five. We'll use this d20 and when I cast the Rakdos charm I'm gonna use all five of my treasures to extort it. So everyone's gonna lose five and I'm gonna gain 15. All right wow. Okay. 
Oh, I'm gonna lose five and go to 16. I'll lose five and go to 25. I'll lose five and go to 12. And I'll gain 15 and go to 42. Wow. And now we have to resolve that Rakdos charm. Each creature deals one damage to its controller. I've got five creatures, so I'm gonna take five. I have seven, so I'm gonna take seven. Going to nine. Oh my, this is really changing things. All right, I'm gonna take two and one infect, baby. Wow. <laughs> yeah, get it. <laughs> and I will take four. Down to eight. Okay, and then I will discard a card to Harnfell, Horn of Bounty, Exiling Two, Ignite the Future, and Chaos Wand. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to go to combat, and I'm gonna swing my 4-4 Flyer and my 3-4 Giant at you, lady. Uh, when my Giant attacks, it's gonna trigger, and I'm gonna deal three damage to each opponent. Oh my lord. <laughs> oh my I will take three, go to six. I'll take three, go to 20. Take three, go to five. And then that's seven damage coming at you. Yeah, I'll double block the giant and I will block the four, four dragon with my three, four dragon. I'm gonna order it so that the marauding raptor is gonna die and your vengeful ancestor is gonna die as well. Sounds good. And then I'm gonna lose my giant and I will go to my end step and I'll discard a swamp and all of these cards in exile will remain in exile. Nice. And that's it, you're go. All right, I will untap, draw for turn, play my land for turn, and then I'm going to use all of my mana. Whoa! I'm gonna play War Storm Surge. Nice. And then I'm gonna play Atarka World Render. Oh, oh yikes, <laughs> that's oh a really good card. Okay. That's gonna trigger Garrick's Uprising, so I'll draw a card. Uh, War Storm Surge? It's gonna deal six damage to your face, Jake. Ugh. I'm gonna go to 31. So I'm gonna move to combat. That's gonna trigger Chaos Dragon. Each player rolls a d20. And I get to roll two right. because of my barbarian class. All right, here we go. All right. 15. 16. 17. Oh. Oh. Are we gonna do it? Are we gonna live? I'm gonna go ahead and swing the Chaos Dragon at you, Craig. Okay. And then I'm gonna swing the Demanding Dragon and Opportunistic Dragon at you, Jake. Not good. And because of Atarka, whenever a dragon you control attacks, it gains double strike until the end of turn. Whoa. Pow pow. Sick. Pew pew pew. So if you don't block Craig, you take eight. I will take eight. It has trample too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I have no blockers in the air, so I'll take 18 and go to 13. Oh my goodness. This is a close game. We're getting there. Yeah. And we do it. All right. And then I'll pass the turn to you, Craig. Okie dokie. I will untap, draw for turn. All right, I'm going to look at the top card of my library. All right, so I'm going to Thriving Isle, tapped, and I'm going to choose green because sure. And yeah, there's uh, really not much else I can do. Pass turn to DJ. Oh no. Ooh. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna untap. I'm gonna draw for turn. All right, I am going to move to attacks. Jake, I'm going to attack you with this Phantom Steed. Uh, when I attack, this is gonna trigger and it's gonna create a tapped and attacking copy of the exiled card that's a Radiant Solar. This is gonna enter the battlefield and I'm gonna venture deeper into the dungeon. Ooh. Ooh. Dun, dun, dun. Let's cry too. A modest effect. <laughs> <laughs> I can see a world where this is useful. One top and one bottom. Okay, I'm going to block the Phantom Steed and take three in the air. Sounds good. So I'll go to 10. I will go to just a really comfortable eight. Eight is great. Yeah, and then in my second main phase, I'm gonna play this card called Necromantic Selection. Oh, whoa! whoa! Yes! Dude, were you holding that the whole time? No, I just drew it. What? <laughs> Spicy. Oh my. Yo, I've got to play two now. <laughs> oh, this is great. Woo, Jakey. Everyone can go away. <laughs> Everyone's being mean. Oh my God, this is so awesome. <laughs> so all our creatures die. And they go uh, to the graveyard. I'm going to play Heroic Intervention. Okay, then <laughs> all of our creatures die. New art, baby. <laughs> When the steed dies, I'm gonna get my Radiant Solar back. And when that enters the battlefield, I get to venture another time. <laughs> and then I'm gonna choose to bring back Pontiff of Blight. Hopefully I can gain some life with it. Uh, also a creature died, and so I will venture deeper into the dungeon because of my commander. Wow. Wow, That's what a comeback. Awesome. What a turn. I thought this was game over, man. Swords to plowshares and- This game got panorama. a lot more interesting. I'm going to play this Esper Panorama. And then I'm gonna scry three now. And 
I'll put one on top and two on the bottom. And then I'll pass the turn to you, Jake. Okay, well, I'm going to untap. On my upkeep, Theater of Horrors is gonna trigger, so I will exile the top card of my library underneath it to swamp, and I will draw for turn. So I'm going to tap my imprisoned commander. Thanks a lot, Craig. <laughs> and six others. I'm gonna cast Reckless Endeavor. Okay. So I'm gonna roll two d12s. I got an eight and a 10. Uh -oh. That's pretty good. <laughs> I'm gonna deal eight damage to each creature and then I'm gonna create <laughs> 10 treasure tokens. <laughs> oh, I don't like that at all. But I, I just used it. the heroic intervention. <laughs> good for you, lady. Good for you. All right, then I'm gonna tap two and cast a Mind Stone. I'm gonna play a Swamp, and then I'm gonna discard a card to the, the Horn of Bounty and exile Valkut Exploration and Commander Sphere. And then I will tap three and cast the Valkut Exploration. Nice. Okay, and then I'm gonna tap three, crack a treasure, going to nine treasures and cast the Commander Sphere. So I'm going to discard Share the Spoils and go deeper. exile two more, gotta go deeper. Ooh, Wild Magic Sorcerer. You like That's that a card. nifty card. Yeah, I'm gonna play the Wild Magic Sorcerer, so I'm gonna tap the Commander Sphere, crack three treasures, it's going to six, and then I'm going to let this mountain go to exile, and I'm going to pass the turn. All right, I will untap, draw for turn. I'm gonna play Game Trail. I will reveal Forest so it enters untapped. And then I'm gonna play Scourge of Valkus. Nice. That's a good one. It enters the battlefield. It deals damage equal to its power to any target. I'm gonna deal four to your face, Jake. I'm going to six. And when it enters a battlefield, it'll trigger and it'll deal one damage to you because I only have one dragon currently. Okay, I'll take one and go to five. Alrighty. And then I'll go ahead and play Skyline Despot. Mm. Uh oh. <laughs> so that'll trigger Warstorm Surge, and it is five power, so I will do five damage to your face, Jake. All right, I'm gonna respond to that. Hey. <laughs> I'm going to sacrifice the Commander Spear to draw a card. And then I'm gonna discard a Smoldering Marsh to exile two cards with Harnfell. So I got Hurl Through Hell and a Swamp. I'm gonna discard a Jukabog. Oh. I got Gaunty and Vandal Blast. I'll discard activating the Horn again, Rakdos Signet. An Oracle's Vault, discard Grim Hireling, get Terminate, and Underdark Rift. Mm. Okay. And then I'm gonna crack two treasures, tap my Bag of Devouring, and sacrifice Harnfell to draw a card. So I didn't draw anything useful. I got this Terminate that I could use, but I think what I'm gonna do is activate my Theater of Horrors using my last four treasures. And I'm gonna deal one damage to DJ's face. Ooh. Because he stole this game from me. It could have been mine. I could have extorted everybody like a nice person. I'll take one. All this stuff remains exiled. I can't do anything. The damage resolves and I die. <laughs> I'm War Storm Surge to death. <laughs> Okie dokie, so since I played the Skyline Despot, I now have two dragons out, which will trigger my Scourge of Valkus, and I will do two damage to you, Craig. Man, all right. Get him, bring me down to 10. And since I played two cards that were four or greater, I draw two cards, and I become the Monarch. And I think I'll just end my turn, and since I'm the Monarch, I get to draw a card. All right. Ugh. And I will pass the turn to you, Craig. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna untap. Draw for turn, I'll play a land. And then I'm gonna tap six and bring out my commander. That's gonna allow me to look at the top card of my library. So I'm gonna look at it. Is it good? <laughs> no, it does it's not awful. look good. Oh, <laughs> awful. Uh, I guess I'm going to attempt to equip Galea with Swiftfoot Boots. They, they equip. Go, go for it. DJ, I swing a tree for four. No blocks. Go to three. Pass turn. What an exciting game, right, Craig? Yeah. <laughs> I believe in you, DJ. All right, I know what the top card is. And it's good. I put it there. I know, that's what I'm saying. I had a Pontiff of Blight and a Battlefield and everything when I was put there. Yeah, you remember last turn when you passed what your board looked like? It was pretty torched. great. I remember everyone else's board too, yeah. so I'm pretty okay. <laughs> I'm gonna draw my card for a turn. And we're gonna try to solve this Dungeons and Dragons style. Sweet. Uh, I'm gonna play Grave Endeavor. Uh-oh. So I'm gonna roll two D10s. Oh no. I don't wanna watch. Two sevens. Yep. Two sevens. <laughs> Sorry, lady. So I'm going to reanimate my Radiant Solar, and it's gonna have seven plus one plus one counters on it. Uh, I will also deal seven damage to each of my opponents and gain seven life. All right, I'll take seven. 
I'm at three. And I'll take seven damage and die! <laughs> All right, I'm also gonna gain seven, so that's gonna bring me up to 10. Oh, man. Uh, my Radiant Solar enters the battlefield, so I'm gonna progress through the dungeon. I have finished a dungeon! Whoa! Yay. Finishing this dungeon means that I can reveal three cards and I get to play one of them for free. Oh, sweet. Nice. One, two, three. So I'm gonna cast Forbidden Alchemy. I'm gonna look at the top four cards in my library, put one in my hand and the rest into my graveyard. Cool. These are gonna go into my hand. One, two, three, four. Yeesh. I'm gonna put this one into my hand and the rest in my graveyard. And I'm gonna go ahead and cast this Lightning Greaves. Fair enough. Ooh. Okay. I'm going to equip the Greaves to my Radiant Solar. In response, I'm gonna look at the top card of my library. I'm gonna put it back. <laughs> Attack you for 10 lifelinking flying damage. Oh, it's flying. It's, it's flying. flying. Oh yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> oh! Hey, and DJ wins! Yay! I'm victorious! I will now descend into my dungeon. DJ? Oh. Victory. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, huge nice. congratulations to DJ. I did not think DJ was gonna win that game. Yeah, that was a crazy last few sequence of plays there. I was so rooting for my boy Craig the whole time, but it's okay, maybe next time. <laughs> yeah, I mean, top decks for the win. DJ looked out of it and just stole it out of nowhere, so pretty impressive. Uh, if you wanna get your hands on these Commander Precons, cardkingdom.com slash command zone is the place to go. That's the affiliate link to use. Mm -hmm. If you're Even if you're not buying the Precons, if you're upgrading the Precons, yeah. uh, you know, They've gotten so good at making these pre-cons like really good out of the box. Mm -hmm. And we can see from this episode, just with a little bit of tweaking, just a few cards added and not very much money spent, you can really get these things up to speed and pretty powerful pretty quickly. So if you want to do that, order the cards for it. Cardkingdom.com slash command zone is the place to go to do it. Yeah, definitely check that out. And of course, support us directly at patreon.com slash command zone. You get to watch episodes like this extra turns a day early and know exactly who wins and how they did it for the rest of the world. And that's pretty valuable. <laughs> you know, we contradict ourselves by saying that because we probably actually knew who won before we picked, uh, you know, who we thought was going to win. Gosh, don't let them know behind the curtain the secrets we hold. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still rooting for Craig, though, even though if I, even if though I know who won. Mm, I'm switching. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to root for DJ now <laughs> ah, so that I can look smart. <laughs> perfect hit percentage. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everyone, for watching, and we will see you next time. Peace.